Billy Joel, a music artist known for his piano skills and powerful songs, has become a favorite for many. With a career spanning decades, he has given us hits that are still played and loved today. Think about his songs and try to pick just one that stands out as the defining moment of his career. It's not an easy task, is it? Maybe you remember the first time you heard his voice or the first song of his that caught your ear. We all have that one special memory linked to his music, whether it's a song that was playing during an important moment in our lives or just that tune we couldn't get out of our head. Share your most memorable Billy Joel moment in the comments. We'd love to hear your stories. And stay tuned because we've got some surprising, amusing, and even some touching facts about Billy Joel coming up that you won't want to miss. Billy Joel emerged as a music artist who reshaped the landscape of popular music. With his skillful songwriting and dynamic performances, he became a voice for a generation, crafting songs that spoke to the heart of everyday life and experiences. His work not only entertained, but also provided a soundtrack for many reflecting personal and societal themes that resonated widely. His influence extended beyond his own era, as his music continues to be discovered and appreciated by new listeners, securing his place in the ongoing story of music. At the young age of 15, a budding musician found his passion playing piano at a local bar. This experience was so fulfilling that he left high school two years later to chase his dream of a music career. Later, while struggling to establish himself, he performed under the pseudonym Bill Martin in Los Angeles, which inspired his well-known song Piano Man. His talents were recognized with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2004. Six years later, he faced a medical challenge and underwent surgery to correct a hip problem. These events mark significant moments in his journey as a musician. Recognition for a lifetime of musical achievements came when he was honored by his local community, marking a milestone in his career. Despite an unconventional academic journey, his decision to focus on music proved fruitful, leading to a unique accomplishment where his vocal talents shone through, performing all parts of a harmonious composition by himself. This dedication to his craft highlights the artist's commitment and skill which have resonated with audiences over the years. In a happy addition to their family, a well-known musician and his partner celebrated the arrival of their daughter in the summer of 2015. Her name, a tribute to her grandmother, and carries a legacy of love and memory. The musician, with a foundation in classical piano training, also made an impact on television. His song set the tone for a popular show's opening, yet in later versions audiences would hear a different tune, a change that reflects the evolving nature of music and media. A song released in 1977 became a favorite, widely played, and often covered by other artists. In a shift from creating new pop music, the artist chose to focus on classical music compositions in the mid-1990s, yet continued to perform his popular songs live. Earlier, in 1967, his band made it onto the Billboard Singles charts with a song that captured listeners' attention. A singer with a Grammy to his name has made significant strides in the music industry. His success is marked by a streak of seven albums that have all landed in the top 40, showcasing a consistent appeal to listeners. His work has also led to a partnership with Elton John, a respected British musician, highlighting a transatlantic collaboration that has resonated with fans across the globe. Born to a family with a dramatic history, he grew up in a home steeped in musical and cultural diversity. His father, a survivor of great adversity, and his mother, from an agnostic background, provided a unique blend of influences. His upbringing in Hicksville shaped his early life, and his connection to music was further solidified through family as his half-brother achieved fame as a concert pianist. His own family life reflects his musical inspirations, evident in the naming of his daughter after a legendary musician. This artist's story is one of resilience, family ties, and a deep-rooted love for music that has been passed down through generations. From lending his voice in a choir for a song that called for unity to standing in the boxing ring, he's a man of many talents. Not only did he fight his way through 22 victories in the boxing world, but he also fought through life's challenges to pursue music after a decisive match. His creative spirit shines through in his music, with every song penned by his own hand, showcasing his dedication to his craft. A rare achievement in the music industry is having top 10 hits across three decades, which this artist accomplished in the 1970s, 1980s, and 1990s. His rise to fame was marked by the global reception of his album's Turnstiles and 52nd Street. These albums led to performances on television, shows like The Old Grey Whistle Test and Music Laden. Despite the massive success of his 1977 album The Stranger, which set records at Columbia Records, he earned a mere 3,000 due to poor management. 
The stark contrast highlights the challenges artists can face in the music business. A passion for classical music led him to admire Ludwig van Beethoven above all other composers. His journey in music saw him release 52nd Street, a groundbreaking album that was the first to be made available on compact disc, marking a significant moment in music distribution. His early career was marked by his involvement with several bands, starting with the Echoes, which became the Lost Souls and later the Hassles, who played at the Riviera Lounge in Westchester, New York in 1967, before finally forming Attila. In the midst of challenges and changes, a music artist found success both on stage and behind the scenes. Elizabeth Weber, once married to John Small, took on the role of business manager, steering the artist's career through the industry's complexities. The collaboration with Twyla Tharp for the musical Movin' Out proved to be a triumph, securing 10 Tony Award nominations in 23 and winning two, including Best Choreography for Tharp and Best Orchestrations for the artist himself. During a tumultuous time, seeking a fresh start away from contractual binds following the release of Cold Spring Harbor, he adopted the alias Bill Martin, performing incognito at the Executive Room in Los Angeles. These pivotal moments reflect a journey marked by resilience and reinvention. A musician's journey often includes unique milestones, and one artist has marked his with a series of performances at a famed venue, where he plays to a full house every month. This ongoing engagement began in 2014, and has seen every show sell out by March 2018, leading to the celebration of his contributions with a special banner. At the young age of 16, he showcased his talent on the keys with a performance on a popular single from 1965. Beyond his musical achievements, he has also shared his personal challenges with mental health, offering a candid look at his experiences with depression. A song can cross oceans and be reborn in a new language, as seen when Anna Boleyn brought her own touch to Piano Man, making it a hit in Spanish. Recognition for a songwriter's craft can come in many forms, from the honor of being welcomed into the American Songwriters Hall of Fame to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Such accolades are a testament to the artist's reach and influence. Selling over 77 million records, this artist stands among the top solo performers in the United States, a clear sign of his widespread appeal and the lasting enjoyment his music brings to many. At the age of 66, he expanded his family by marrying Alexis Roderick, who was 34 at the time, marking his fourth marriage and welcoming his second child. His journey into music was sparked by witnessing the Beatles' performance on The Ed Sullivan Show, which led him to chase a career in music. Alongside his musical endeavors, he actively supports the Democratic Party, aligning his personal beliefs with his political stance. 